blessings love and we are on the eve of our transformative eclipse season and I desire to speak on this while the crow as the omen of change sits above the eclipse to come solar eclipse on Thursday at the new moon in cancer and the lunar eclipse at the full moon two weeks later in Aquarius are set to change the entire human genome. The nuclei of every single one of your individual cells has a DNA coding that has the ability to shift, to change, to transform, to activate, and to create. There is a practice that every human being can engage in. It is a practice that many of the ancients revered many of our ancestors practiced, especially on these um, annual events of transformative solar and lunar light codes that come through the solar and lunar eclipse. If you've ever seen a reptile's third eye lid over their eyeball and how the eyelid is a quick um, shift over to protect the eye, you can imagine this is what happens with the light to the human pineal gland and the hypothalamus in the middle, the center of your brain. If you can spend some time in nature on the new moon and the full moon and every day, truly and really, this is part of my divine daily practice is to spend some time in the sunlight and the moonlight with the intention of connecting and remembering who I am. That is the purpose of meditation practice. There is no other purpose than consistently reminding yourself of who you are, where you are, what you're doing here, what you intend to be doing here, how you desire to get there, and what your intentions are for this earth. This is a daily practice. Every day I practice getting to know myself, learning to love myself, creating my own vision for this world in spite of outer circumstances. The eclipse is a time to imagine that your whole life can transform and you can become the most powerful being that you've always desired yourself to be. But this takes work and willingness and consistency and most people would like to say easier said than done of course speaking and action are two very different things learning how to get real with yourself as a human being is why you're here learning to get real with your pain and your habitual self-harming is part of our cancer solar season illumination and the new moon in cancer on Thursday July 12th is the time when the Sun and the moon meet in the same degree of the sign of cancer to create the activation and the solar eclipse occurs this time sacred geometry alignments that shoot a incredible surge of solar and lunar light codes down to earth the earth absorbs these light codes just like a plant absorbs light in order to create more life we are made of light we are made of sunlight and when the human being becomes conscious enough to say I am willing and open to receive the blessings of the solar and lunar energy I am willing to change. I am willing to practice self-care. I am willing to explore new ways of functioning on this planet. I am willing to explore mindful body, mental, emotional, and spiritual self-care every single day. I am aware that self-care is a divine art. I don't necessarily need to know what to do. I just have to be willing. Thank Goddess for Louise Hay, that teaching has changed my life. I don't have to know what to do specifically, but I have to be willing. The willingness piece is part of healing. The willingness piece is part of healing. There are infinite things that you could learn to do. 
but if you're not really doing it from that center point of your own heart that I really truly desire to learn to love myself and you're just doing it half-assed haphazardly just because I have to do it you don't truly believe that you can help yourself then you will be blocked willingness and authenticity go together and I have learned deeply that willingness is part of shamanic healing. You need to learn to reclaim all of the lost parts of yourself that are floating around in the ethers in your luminescent energy field. Trauma and pain, the inner child wounding, the disconnection from our karmic family, the disconnection from our awareness of being connected to source all the time just because I'm able to speak you're able to understand what I'm saying. There is an energy that moves through you called resonance that seems like a truth when you hear the words that I speak or you hear other people speak or you read something that changes your heart or you hear something, some music, you see something in nature. There is patterns that continue to unfold in front of you, numbers that keep coming up to you. What are you paying attention to? Whose life are you paying attention to? Who are you glorifying that doesn't even need your attention? Learning to turn that attention back inward is part of cancer season. And ironically, it is the healing to cancer, the disease that is clutching this species. Cancer is a man-made disease. There are man-made toxins that we are participating in with and in, putting in and on our bodies 24-7. Part of real authentic self-care is getting real with all of the ways that I'm willingly poisoning myself every day. And how is this behavior? How is this action? How are these words contributing to my physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual distress? Ask yourself that every single day before you put something in your mouth hole, before you say something out of your mouth hole, before you willingly harm yourself, before you want to die again. What would it take to learn to love yourself? This is the gift that you can offer yourself on this new moon in Cancer. The full moon in Aquarius two weeks later is the illumination of the Leo solar season for after the sun and moon meet in the same degree of Cancer, the solar season of Cancer will be shortly over and then the sun will move into Leo and we get to draw this powerful lunar and solar energy from the Cancer season in through our Leo solar expansion. How willing are you to learn to truly love yourself? bring your soul to earth speak for that which moves your heart the activism your privilege of even being able to speak and have a voice without being silenced is a privilege and we all have come here with a gift and a dream and a voice and even if the people that brought you to this planet abused you denied you, rejected you, continued to put you down. You came here to learn to live for you. You truly can find community if you learn to make a pact with your own heart. That I can be my own mama. I can be my daddy, my sister, my brother, my lover, my teacher, my divine guru. I have infinite potential to explore whatever I'm in for, interested in and whatever I desire to learn about is accessible to me now for free. I am willing to learn to take care of myself. Speaking these words out loud so that your body hears it, so that the cells hear it, the cells that are you, you are not separate from yourself. You feel that way because you have been brain trained to ignore yourself and to hate yourself and to harm yourself and to think that self-care is selfish create an idea for yourself 
explore the self-care resources that are free on my website, boundariesarebeautiful.com. Everything I share on my website, my social media, and my YouTube channel are all part of my divine awakening. My YouTube channel, especially if you YouTube Tessa Ridley or Self Care is Sacred, everything I share is my awakening in video form. It's free. Everything is light encoded and DNA encoded to change your life because it changed mine. I am not some magical being from outer space. I am just like you and I am calling my light to earth. I am calling my soul to earth. I am living a soul infused human experience because that is what we have come here to do. The astrological information that I share every day keeps me centered, keeps me aware, and keeps me having faith that the insanity that's happening in my life around me is purposeful and part of the universal dance of all and no matter how bleak it seems, I trust that something is coming through to save us all and that's us. It's not some old man that's going to come out of the sky and shine light on life. It's the energy that comes through the solar and lunar light codes into our being, in through the pineal and the hypothalamus, into every gland and every organ and every cell of the body, flooding every cell of the body. Imagine this. Look at pictures of your anatomy. Imagine the light on the new moon and the full moon coming in and flooding every part of your body saying, I'm ready for this change. I am willing to look at every last part of myself that I have rejected and pretended like didn't exist. Some of it hurts to look at, but you are safe. You are safe. Learning coping skills that are nurturing and nourishing are part of self-care now. No longer addictive, self-harming, self-loathing, self-aversion, but rather self-nurturing, the mothering, the power of cancer to heal the cancer consciousness is here now. Self-care is a sacred act. How will you show yourself love to create an upswing of the vibrational shift on this planet? We need you. Your heart and soul is so powerful. If you look at me and you believe in me, trust that I was in the dark so long ago, suicidal, self-harming, and wanting to die most of my life, and now I am in the thick of one of the darkest experiences I've ever known in all of my lives, but I have a faith inside of my heart that tells me it's okay. You are going to be okay. I have to raise $23,000 for legal assistance to go fight a court case in October and December to fight a dark force that is attempting to destroy my family, but I have faith that what is happening here is going to change the entire world and what I've experienced and my um, activation of my voice and my story and no longer being afraid of persecution trauma and bringing my voice forth with love in the direction of truth and love without malice and without meanness but just truth to see this is what we have come to be i know that i can make this money and i know that we can create a new earth one heart and one soul at a time and create shifts in the way that we initiate and nurture our young people so they know how to cope with the sadness and the grief that we have all inherited and the darkness that is permeating this world right now we are the light we bring the light we welcome the light we stimulate the light endlessly darkness is your candle room he says so i light myself up every day that is my practice that is my willingness that is my meditation and you can do it too i love you i believe in you are you ready